This is The Sin Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to this week's edition of The Pit Stop, where we are here to talk about sim racing, what's gone on in the last week of sim racing across the board, across the globe. Doesn't matter the sim or the hardware, we're going to try to cover anything that we know of. And of course, if there are any stories you ever think we need to add at The Pit Stop, you be sure to email me, Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at thesimpit.com. I hope you're all having a great week. I am having a wonderful week. We are really getting things into high gear at the Sim Pit. Lots of good things going on, getting more content out, getting more racing in, and things just seem to be working in the right direction. Plus, it's Friday. Friday always has me in a good mood because it kicks off my racing weekend. We got the Oval Series tonight. I've got the Road Series on Sunday. I'll probably be doing some rally racing over the weekend as well or some dirt racing over the weekend as well so anyway great weekend for me that always has me pumped up and a good mood ready to do the show so what is going on in sim racing i think the biggest news to me easily has to be what went on yesterday uh ollie pakla is a good friend of mine in sim racing he is an alien alien sim racer hands down he's competed at the highest level in sim racing across the board you could be talking about the visa vegas million dollar race you could be talking about the f1 esport you could be talking name your pro league and ali pakla has either raced or won in that environment on top of that he's been an industry leader he's worked with uh, foundations to create rules and sanctioning bodies for sim racing he has worked for fanatic and now he works for Overpower. Uh, Overpower is a family-run business out of Finland. They make sim rigs, and they've taken a completely new approach to the conventional sim rig. And it was really a pleasure. I love talking to Ollie. He's a really entertaining guy. Here, let me just play you a moment. Just you, I, I, I could just pick any random moment. Ollie's entertaining. Actual Overpower, but you know the stuff. What what, what you can see behind me. So we had some fun. Uh, he showed off the rig, was, showed us some of the features, told us about its construction, first, told us about its customability, uh, compatibility, I, and I all of that kind of stuff as well. Me. And it I, I was a like solid... Uh, hour of entertainment. I just got to say, we had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I think most people who watch it had a really good time watching it. And you got to learn about a new sim rig company as well. So check that on YouTube. It's on our YouTube channel. Interview with Ali Pakala of Overpower Sim Chassis. Really, really entertaining. I, I bet you're going to love it. So check that out. Uh, we'll have a link here in the description of the show as well. Moving on to iRacing. Nick Ottinger clinched the 2020 eNASCAR Coca-Cola iRacing Series title. Sherburn won the final race, but it was Ottinger who clinched the title. And uh, that's a big deal. That's $100,000 uh, for that. And uh, it got very close. And it was there was some good video if you go to the iRacing Twitter page. I'm not going to play much of the video today. Uh, for it, but there was some good video of some of the stuff that went on. I know uh, it was heartbreaking for some people and uh, obviously victorious for Nick Ottinger. Uh, Scott Speed goes back to back with the IRX All Star Invitational win at Hell. So he continues his, I, you could call it domination, I think. Scott Speed, 93 points. Connor Martell in second. Sage Karam in third. Kevin Swindell fourth. Tyler Meninga in fifth place. So that's what's going on. And then simultaneous to that, they're still running the Pro Series as well. And Hallman uh, won the race. That's Tommy Hallman, uh, fifth different winner in the IRX World Championship. So he won Mitchell DeJong in second. Larry Irie? Is that LL? Larry Lemon? Do I? <laughs> Larry Lemon Sivu. Uh, finishing in third. Sorry about ruining your name there. And let's see here. It looks like in the championship, John Robertson, who finished sixth in that race, seventh, I'm sorry, is leading in the points with 105. Mitchell DeJong, who finished second in that race, uh, 98. And Johan Harth with 87 points. Um, who I don't even see him in the top 10 there that was a brutal day for him and then we have our team yokohama leading over subaru motorsport and set esport dale earnhardt jr has officially joined iRacing as executive director this is a big deal 
Uh, iRacing Motorsport Simulations and Dale Earnhardt Jr. are pleased to announce that, effective immediately, Earnhardt Jr. will officially join iRacing as executive director and part of the community's management committee. NASCAR Hall of Famer. Um, we're elated to officially welcome Dale to the iRacing team as executive director of the company, said iRacing owner John Henry. Uh, for more than 20 years, he's been a passionate advocate of sim racing. That is very true. Um, anyway, so we'll we'll see what Earnhardt has in mind. I mean, you think about this. Of everybody at the top of the chain, this guy is going to be the most hardcore when it comes to sim racing. Um... You can think of him as Dale Earnhardt Jr., the NASCAR guy, the, the you know media superstar that he is. But the bottom line, and anybody who's ever been in a ro lobby racing with him knows, he's a sim racer. He's a real sim racer, and he's passionate about sim racing as sim racing. He's not trying to change sim racing or make it any better than its actual intended purpose. Um, I think this is great news. I think it's a great move. Behind the scenes, Dale Earnhardt Jr. on and off has always been a part of iRacing from the very, very beginning. Uh, but now it's official. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what comes of this and if we can tell if there's any differences going on. Anything noticeable. All right. Uh, on the Twitter page, there's Nick Ottinger doing his donuts. That was our screenshot of the day. Congratulations to him on being... The iRacing NASCAR champion. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, that's him right there. Here, let's play this one. He finished fourth in the final race. There he is. $100,000 richer. Hey, this is my line. There's no crying in NASCAR. I'm sorry. You're allowed to cry. $100,000. I might do worse than cry. Uh, there you go. So that is it. Uh, what else do we have going on? We have a bunch of videos here. I, we'll be here all day. So. You got it, baby. Outside here. Outside. Outside. You got one inside. One inside. Hold your line. Just hold your line. Inside here. Hold your line. Inside. Hold your line. Inside. Inside here. Hold your line. Still inside. Still inside. Still inside. Still inside. Still inside. Still inside. Two back to the 55 behind you. Still inside. Ride it out. Ride it out. Bring it back to us. Bring it back to us. All clear, baby. All clear. All clear. Yes, baby. All clear. Get, bring it to us, baby. Bring it to us. Bring it to us, oh baby. Oh, my God. Get the man, Get the man. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry on his behalf. Oh, my God. Take a moment, take a moment, take a moment, take a moment. This is special, you guys. What do you think, champ? <laughs> what do you think, bud? <laughs> Damn, good work, bros. Love, God, love you, man, love you. Great job, guys. Great job. Thank you so much, Brandon. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, I need to burn out, man. Oh. That's awesome, you guys. Yes! <clears throat> That's awesome. All right, I don't think we can top that, but let's try. Uh, iRacing. Look at this. What's that, you guys? <laughs> That's how it started. That is the fountain of Long Beach with all the garbage being deleted. And that's how it's getting 
Oh, look at that. How precious is that? We're getting there, Long Beach, soon enough. Uh, new feature. Uh, whoop, things jumped on us. Here we go. New feature. Major improvement just deployed. This is on the new UI for iRacing. And this right here is how you can filter. And look at all these options for what you can filter out when you're doing your search for various different races on iRacing using the new UI. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Uh, Nick Ottinger and William Byron sit down to talk about their historic eNASCAR Coca-Cola iRacing Series Championship. That was on the new episode of the iRacing Downshift that just came out 22 minutes ago, apparently. So there you go. There you go. That's our iRacing news. Assetto Corsa. Check this video out. The 2020 GT World Challenge Pack DLC adds new track, two new cars, and more than 60 new liveries. And all the teams of the 2020 GT World Challenge season in ACC. Alongside the new Pirelli 2020 DHE tire model. New season BOP. Improved AI algorithms and overall performance optimization. Weather model updates. I got an itch on my thingamajig. Coming this month, November, for PC. Uh, didn't we have something about the... Nope, that was a different thing I'm thinking about. There you go. Uh, R-Factor, they got their October 30th roadmap. This is right on the cusp, and I had to, like, really <laughs> search my brain. Did we already cover this? I think they had done something just before the end of the month, sort of a preemptive roadmap. But, uh, first have a quick look at highlights from last month. Uh, yep, we know about the Bentley. Uh, we know about the stock car update. So, also on topic of cars, October, we see release of a new build of the often overlooked stock car 2018 content. I'm delighted to see the new update seems to have gone a great, done a great job of bringing these powerful and entertaining cars back to the conscious of the sim racing, consciousness of the sim racing community. Um, there you go. You can download that. Season two, BMW, Marcel Offerman interviews. Uh, servers. Let's talk a few continue working on working on servers, matchmaking system, competition system in the works as well. Um, so yeah, lots of new stuff going on there at R Factor. I have the link here if you want to read all of the last details of everything going on. But good for them. Thank you, R Factor, for continuously giving us updates on what's going on. In addition to that, they've been keeping us updated on Rudy Van Buren and how things have been going in his pro racing career. Real life pro. Anyway, qualified P3, race 1, P6, race 2, P4. So, uh, this close to a podium, Rudy Van Buren stepping up the ladder in that Porsche um, series that he's running in. Congratulations to him. I think that's it from our factor. Some races of the VCO that are there. There's the Ferrari. We've just some screenshots of the Ferrari. And then they're doing a guess their track thing that we don't need to do. You guys can go to check it out at their Twitter page. Uh, Project Cars. Haven't talked about them in ages, but Project Cars 3, the Legends pack for Project Cars 3 is out now. Let's mute this one. Own three Japanese racing legends. The iconic Toyota Supra Mark Four turbo, that tail happy Mazda RX-7 R2, and Japanese greatest supercar, the 1997 Acura NSX. Plus, get the Yaz Marina circuit free for all players. So the Legends pack for Project Cars 3. Very cool. In addition to that, there's also an update and includes game fixes, support for Legends Pack DLC, and the Yaz Marina circuit. So, Legends Pack DLC is one thing. Yaz Marina is in it for all people. It looks like we have full update in the notes there if you're a Project, Project Cars 3 diehard and want to know more. Um, do we have a video of Yaz or just custom setup? There's a shot of Yaz. Why do you think we had a video? No video? Okay, no video. That's okay. Dirt 5! Well, today is the day, I believe, for Dirt 5. Or yesterday was the day for Dirt 5. I I know the Amped version came out a few days ago. Oh, look at the 944. I, even, I just realized that was a 944. Um, I, I forgot. I've just been busy with that Ollie interview and other things and, and our Dirt Rally League, funny enough. Um, anyway, I'm gonna... I don't know if I have time today. I might kind of thinking instead of even live streaming which really slows me down i'm thinking that maybe tomorrow i play dirt 5 all day long 
and then try to tomorrow write a review and film it on Sunday. See if we can work the opposite direction here at the Sim Pit and try to focus more on the full review and what we're known for rather than getting consumed with streaming too, too much. We'll see how that plays out. I'll talk to everybody on uh, on Twitch. We will be live, Sim Pit Live on Twitch, immediately following this pit stop. And we'll have some conversation about what goes on. Actually, we're watching it right now at Twitch. So if you want to watch with the group, uh, you can watch it, head over to Twitch or stay here at, at YouTube. But immediately following the show, I'll be talking with everybody about what we talked about on today's show. So Dirt 5, we have a bunch of screenshots. We have a bunch of videos. Um, I'm sure you can see various different streamers and people who have been doing it. You've got uh, Bastion is out there. Uh, Batison. Batison? Batison? I don't know his name. Uh, anyway, he's out there streaming it, and at some point, I will get on it as well. So, Dirt 5 out now, and, I mean, like, so, I might, I haven't done it yet, 3719 on CD keys. I'm assuming that's cheaper than buying it from, uh, and release date today, 611 for the official amplified version. Does it show... Yeah, on the 3rd is when the Amplified version... whoop de doo No, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, I think I'm just going to buy the Standard version and check it out. If I need more, I'll buy it later. Uh, Formula 1, we have the next round of the F1 eSport, the 2020 F1 eSport going on. So it's race day, says Ferrari Motorsport. Uh, I'm going to blow through these because, again, we're trying to get this show so it kind of moves along. This one-hour warning, this on the 4th. So two days ago is when, when the racing happened um spoiler alert, put your earmuffs on if you don't want to hear i'm going to blow through this but i'm going to try to find i did see the winner names and things so we're going to try to give uh accolades where deserved here's our qualifying rasmussen number one and event number one um and here it is should we play that a little bit great to see denoso actually up there in p1 um really happy for him there you can see uh rasmussen come down the around the last corner really close to the pit wall to minimize that that distance and go all right and then we have the guys who are eliminated look at the lap times f pros are posting so q2 in canada uh next eliminated group um a tough one red bull racing's kiefer four. knows he can risk everything as he comes Taking across the, pole. the line can he improve oh, he can. Can. that's what, what we lap. were looking for it's a 106 no this is a all right there you go 10 minutes till the race they're live here goes the race we have a green light at zandvoort Five red lights i thought we were canada on. they go out and we are racing for the fourth time in this esports season good drag down to turn number one for the pole sitter who maintain is it me or did they kind of skip over that's the pole for canada then we're already to the race start for Zandvoort. I'm confused. You guys are going to have to go check this out for yourself. Um, epic battle. And Rasmussen. I don't know who won race one. Rasmussen won race number two. Here we actually have our results. Frederick Rasmussen winning the race. Yarno Opmir in second. Marcel Kiefer in third. Brendan Lay finishes in sixth. Um, green light in Canada. Now we're back to Canada. So what do you think is going to happen in the off season? You guys think that there will be an F1 <laughs> eSport all-star pro race type thing uh, do you think they're gonna get back to that uh, and utilize what they learned in the off in the uh, shutdown eSport racing they were doing I, I do think about that often um, all right and here we go uh, leader here's our point at this point Yarno Otmir number 108 points Rasmussen and Kiefer tied for second of red bull red bull tied for second and third um let's see here elimination they got this all out of order ah you guys check it out anyway all of the esport i don't want to spoil too much of it we got endless amounts of videos um team championship results i can give you the results here so uh drivers championship after the the second race 
Otmer, 123. Kiefer, 96. Rasmussen, 89. And then we have our team championship with Red Bull, 185. Alfa Romeo, 166. All the way back to 65 points. So it's really down between Red Bull and Alfa Romeo. They're just dominating the entire season. So there you go. That's what's going on there. Uh, coming from Gran Turismo Sport, the Toyota GR Yaris and its global time trial come to Gran Turismo Sport with update 1.62 out on November 13th. So you got that coming. Update 1.62 includes the Toyota GR Yaris first edition RZ High Performance 20, a car designed with all the expertise and know-how to produce by Mini Lens and World Rally Championship. There you go. That's coming. Gran Turismo showing off some video of their manufacturers. But I think Holland podium is going to go down to the line. Lakowski takes the win, but it's a drag to the line for second place. And surely Bishop is going to take it ahead of Dan Holland. Over the line they come. But I think Holland just got it on the line. The bat all right, there you go. Uh, this is all from Nations Cup that went on. Brilliant driving there from Baptiste Beauvoir late on the brakes. Now advantage to him. Here comes Baptiste Beauvoir. We're about to go three wide into the left hand. Is Beauvoir going to send it down the inside of them both? Into the left hand we go, and he does it. Brilliant driving there from I, I, You got to give uh, Gran Turismo credit for the way they put their stuff on their website. Because they give us the good stuff. So they're going to go three wide. This is absolutely fantastic. Side by side, we come up towards turn eight. Oh, on the inside. So annoying this about Gran Turismo, though. So what's that? A Lexus GT car followed by some bizarro car. I think I saw a VW GRC car. That annoys me to this day. Uh, so in the slip for Beauvoir, challenging for the lead, but here comes Lopez on the outside. We're nearly going three wide down the straight. Gallo holds on to the lead. Hi, Max. Hi, buddy. Gallo's. All right. Um... The only problem is it's kind of hard to keep track of what is even what. Anyway, there are a lot of video there you guys can check out. The link is in the description of the show. Uh, you had all of the, uh, that's a throwback one. You had all the Nations and Manufacturing Cup Series races going on in the latest round. Lots of entertainment stuff. Entertaining stuff. We are three wide here at the Tokyo Expressway. This is the second place. And Jeff Gallant on the inside. Solis in the middle. Agakan on the outside. Gallant gets two places in one corner on lap three. That is absolutely fantastic. Nearly. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. You got to check it out. Uh, WRC 9. It's official. WRC 9 is coming to Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S on November 10th. That's just four days away, you guys. Smart delivery, faster loading time, 60 FPS, 4K resolution, performance 120 FPS and 1080, by the way, if your display allows 120 hertz. Visual fidelity, native 4K resolution modes coming post-launch. So that's good news for console players of WRC or people who want to be. And I think that's all we had from them. Ah, the second major update for WRC9 is coming this month. This is one we've talked about. This is big. Six new stages in Rally Portugal. Co-driver mode. One new official concept car. One new livery. More improvements. Uh, eager to try out this co-driver mode. Working with a friend. I don't know what the pace notes are going to look like. Uh, something we're definitely going to have to do as soon as it comes out. That sounds like something that will be a lot of fun to do with a, a, a good friend. Um, and that's it from WRC. So we'll have to tune in at the this month to see when that comes out. Rita with a hot fix, a uh, fix to the fix, or aka a hot fix is 1051. Um, and it's a hot fix to address a bug with non linear bump stops, helper springs, which led to Porsches being something or other. Anyway, they did a recent update that was on the 31st, and now we have a hot fix or an update to the update. Race room. They're working more and more with DTM, so check out this cool video. This is them setting up in like one of the uh, uh, lounges. Uh, you can see the simulators amongst the race cars in this giant banquet room for DTM. Um, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. We have another shot of their rig. Here we go. Uh, race room. Sim racing is now an integral part of the DTM and many other series. We are proud to be the official partner of the DTM eSport program. And there's that rig. And 
They're doing the finale amongst all those cars. How cool is that? Tim Heineman would love to see a sim racer and race room champion in DTM. P1. Oh, uh, I think that's all from race room. It is. Wreckfest. Wreckfest. Tournament update. Wasteland Wreckers. Wreck your way to the top and claim the battle bus. Ha <laughs> 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 I'm going to mute it so we don't get demonetized. Hell yeah. New tournament. Wasteland Wreckers. New free tournament reward vehicle. The Battle Bus. Engine upgrades for many special vehicles. Handling improvements for special vehicles. Stability and quality of life enhancements. So more and more coming out all the time. Wreckfest just gets better and better. It's hard. Uh, I, I still want to give this game awards for what it deserves, like Game of the Year at some point or something. I mean, it's such a fantastic game. Thrustmaster, official from them two days ago. Warning, Dirt 5 compatibilities. Hey, steering wheel users, we want to let you know about day one compatibility for Dirt 5 Thrustmaster. So we've summarized how you'll be able to get dirty with Thrustmaster and Dirt 5 at game launch. For PC users... Um, these wheels will be supported for console users. No wheels will be supported before a post-launch update. We apologize, but this is beyond our control. So, little note out of Thrustmaster if you're trying to play Dirt 5 as we are in Dirt 5 release week. And getting pretty close to the end, which is good because i got to get this show finished and uploaded so we can all watch the actual show. Um, this comes to us from Eurotruck. We are closing their eShop from the 30th of November. Um, we, as we approach the end of the year, we wish to remind you that official SCS Software eShop will be closing on November 30th, as previously announced. From that time onwards, there, unfortunately, will be no official way to purchase Euro Truck Simulator 2, American Truck Simulator, and SCS Software merchandise. Okay. Um... If you order, since our original blog, uh, limited side, blah, 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 and you might get a signed item too. Mystery gift. Any order above 20 euro gets a secret gift, and you might get a signed item too. So it looks like some Euro Truck posters maybe? Anyway, so if you're looking for some Euro Truck gear, you're going to need to do that before the 30th. Uh, update 1.39 has happened. We talked about it. This is the open beta um, and this is a very, very big deal for Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator. And it looks like that giant update, which we talked about uh, a few times over the last few weeks. This is a massive facelift to the game, the sim. And you'll see the same thing over at American Truck as well. <laughs> With different music. Damn, look at that load! Oh, that's really cool. Oh, if you do play this game, you see what's different. This, like, whole building your load thing. I don't remember any of that. Very cool. Big deal for American Truck and Euro Truck Simulator. Then we got this, Super Car Driver. Rick Kelly is selling his awesome sim rig. Check out this rig. Yeah, that went good. I wanted to look like a supercar, so I got my main man, Mitch, at work to help. Got it all connected as well. Seems to be working okay. All the other drivers are practicing, which is really smart, but I'm gonna do the not so smart thing. And I'm going to rear wing to this thing. Have a look. Looks like a little bit of plane <laughs> to me. That would be pretty Unless easy to do to any rig, by the way, you guys. Main plane here at work. Pretty cool looking rear wing. It's uh, got a bit of a crack in it, so we can't chuck it on the real thing. I'm going to try and uh, cut it up and see if I can fit it onto the simulator. And maybe then I'll do some practice. Anyway, there's a link there. You can check out the full video. It's pretty cool and an amazing looking rig, and apparently it's for sale. Um, I didn't see a price. If you have to ask, 24000 24 grand. There you go. 
beers. All right, let's look at a couple of rigs. Let's talk about Sim Pit Racing, and then let's bring the show to a close so we can start our racing weekend. This posted by Michael Kekonen. Uh, nice looking rig. Look at that. He's got flight stick. He's got handbrake. He's got shifter. H pattern shifter, by the way. I'm assuming he plays VR. Looks like it's squeezed into the corner. No monitors. My new baby, designed for both racing and flying sims. Switching just by sliding the seat. Yeah, I just gotta slide it back. Oh, look, he's even got rudder pedals squeezed in there. <coughs> oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. You mount the flight pedals really low. And you slide the seat all the way back where you have the flight controls. You slide it all the way forward and have your pedals in a higher position. That's really slick. Well done, Michael Kakenin. And I'm sure some of our guys will take note and follow that. This was posted by S3 Aura 11. And I just love simplistic whatever it takes. In the room, got his McLaren banner. Got his tiny, tiny monitor. Oh, he raced him in VR. You know, if you're in VR, as long as you're comfortable, man, you don't even know what you're in once you're in VR. That's the beauty of VR. Check this one out. You see, this guy uses his gloves. He's not going to ruin his Alcantara. Uh, 3, 2, 1, bacon. When you can't upgrade everything at once. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, but notice how he's got really good gear. He might have gone minimalistic on everything else, but I'll tell you what, he's got good gear where it counts. Congratulations to him. We've got Raja. 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 This is his first rig ever, and he loves it. Sad part is he can't use it yet because he doesn't have 16 amps in his apartment, but it'll fix that problem soon. Happy to be part of the sim racing family. That is a hell Talk about diving into the deep end. That is an all-in starting point. <laughs> you should be so lucky, buddy. I hope enjoy when you get those amps and you can run. Enjoy because that's a beauty. And then we got this one by Tenno Farm 2019 2019. Nice looking computer, by the way. Nice looking setup for somebody who just wheels a chair up to it. He's got a shifter. What is that? Is that the is that the cheapo shifter on? What is this shifter? Is that the cheaper one that's am on Amazon? Anyway, good looking setup there for kind of a minimalistic. You can see him rocking the Logitech wheel on that one. First setup, he'll see you on the track. <laughs> he'll be in last, but he'll see you up there. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Tenno Farm. And then that takes us to Dirt Rally. So if you've seen on Twitch, I made a couple of runs. I finally got in on the Sim Pit Rally League. This Dirt Rally 2 uh, private league in our group that everybody's welcome to join. Just type in exclamation mark Discord. Get into our Discord cha uh, channel. You will see a, a section there for Dirt Rally 2.0 with all the details on how to join us. I am now finally, the guys have been begging. The guys are not begging. They've been bugging me to get in on this, and I finally have. And I'm very glad I, I did because I had a blast in the German rally, which we just completed. I finished ninth in that rally. David Clymer winning the rally by a pretty good margin 22nd advantage over randy macho man savage alesh mom finishing in third lonnie jameson ps4 dead man uh are our top five in this week's rally and i think today kicks off uh the next rally which means i get to do even more yay 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 uh let's see last week last week we were at five flags and it was david Clymer who has just been having a phenomenal Racing season in the Simpit Arca series. Friday night racing. That's what I'm doing tonight. Tonight I will be racing, but David Clymer wins the race. Mark Michkowski in second. Joe Hildinger in third. Tom Dudek and Billy Strange round out the top five. Tonight we are at Texas Motor Speedway. 85 laps at Texas. David Clymer is taking with him a 14 point lead over Mark Michkowski and Billy Strange, who are tied with 198 points. Defending champ, four-time defending champ Mark Michkowski in second. Defending champion Billy Strange in third. Da Brandon Skinner and Joe Hilding are our top five in the series with only three races left until we declare our champions. Uh, Sunday morning. Sunday morning will be the Simpit LMP2 League. Last week it was Gonzalo Perone who won at Suzuka International. A uh, real dominating race by him, by the way. Anthony Morano Jr. in second. Randall White in third. Han Sam Hinchy in fourth. 
James Dowling rounding out the top five. And in that series, we head to Autodromo Monza. That will be this Sunday morning, 10 a.m., Autodromo Monza. Randall White leading the way with a decent margin over Gonzalo Peron, Anthony Morano Jr. in third place. I think I find myself in ninth place in both series. I do. I do. We're going to have to do better than that. Anyway, I'm going to have to get off the air. If I want to do better, i got to get to practicing. If you want to be better, you got to practice. Practice makes perfect. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed the show. If there's anything you think we can do better, do more input stories for the show, you be sure to email me, Sean, S H. AUN at the sinpit.com. I'd love to hear from you. And if you think we can do better, I'm always listening. Get out there, do some sim racing, have yourselves a great weekend. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.